Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to another bright, sunshiny, what is today? Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday, June the 12th, and today I want to talk to you about what to do when you feel like quitting. More right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And you are my honored guest. If you would do me the uh, honor, as Abby and Joe have done. <clears throat> Abby from Chicago. Uh, looks. I, I, I saw your um, uh, either Instagram or Facebook story, or maybe it's running on both. Um, very looks like you're having a, an interesting time there so uh, good for you glad you're enjoying that and Joe good morning to you as well uh, sir appreciate you being here and if you are watching live or on the replay be sure and leave me a comment say hi hello good morning whatever happens to, uh, to float your boat all right so today oh speaking of Instagram uh, by the way that's this way there's my Instagram. You can follow me there. There's good stuff that comes out there every once in a while. About every six hours or so. All right. Um, what to do when you feel like quitting. So this week, or the last couple of days, I've kind of been on this kick about talking about how to tell when you're on the right path. Right? If things scare you, if things seem risky, um, if they're difficult, those are all great indicators that you're on the right path, that, that what you are working toward is worthwhile and worthy. And sometimes, even when you're on the right path, I think as Will Rogers said, you can be on the right path, on the right track, and still get run over by the train. Sometimes, even when you're on the right track, it, it's, it's hard. And because it's hard, it's difficult, it's easy to lose. Um, lose that fire that got you started in that direction in the first place. And I mean, it's it's all almost always easier to quit than keep going, right? So how do we overcome that? What do we do when you get up in the morning and you look in the mirror and it's like, man, I just don't have it in me again today. And look, it, it's not, first of all, let me tell you, don't beat yourself up for that. That's not unusual. I mean, we all have good days and bad days. There's psychological, physiological, even weather-related reasons why we have good days and bad days. So, so don't let the fact that you have doubt, that you have a day that you don't, you're not feeling it, you don't, you know, you don't really want to keep going. Don't let that, in and of itself, get you down. Now, the, there are reasons to pull the plug on something. And we'll talk about those later in the week, but just, you know, just because you're not feeling it, that's not one of them. Think about it this way, right? In the course of a long journey, you're going to have setbacks. I, you know, you guys know me, love baseball, love the baseball analogy. If you're, if you're out to win the World Series... Swinging at one pitch and, and missing is probably not going to change that outcome. Now, the closer you get to the outcome, the more important those swings become. But one strike is not going to change the outcome. One out is not going to change the outcome. Even losing a game, if you do it early enough, won't change the outcome. Okay, there's no team that's ever played professional baseball that had a perfect season. They just don't happen. So the the title, I mean, kind of the title I'm working with today is that the wins live in the land of losses, right? 
you, you have to be willing to go through and, and gut it out through the losses in order to find the wins. I've said all this week, right, that, that the great things, the different things, the, the, the things we're striving for are hiding behind the fear and the risk and the difficulty, right? And they're hiding behind the losses. You have to get in there and dig around to find them. So what keeps you going when you feel like quitting, you, you, when, when the, the row is tough and you just don't want to do it anymore? Remembering the why. Remembering why you started in the first place. If I got, if I were playing baseball and I got disappointed after every strike and just in the middle of an at-bat, threw the bat down and walked off, I, I can't do this. You know, that's not a good plan. That's never going to yield the result you're looking for. Even, you know, you get an out. Oh, uh, okay, coach, take me out. I'm not going in anymore. You lose a game. All right, we should just quit, you know, give up on the season. No, that, you, you never win that way, right? You remember the prize that you're working toward, and you keep working toward that. Now, even as great an analogy as it is, even working toward winning a season championship can be too small of a goal. I mean, to, to maintain the sports metaphor, maybe you want to build a dynasty. You want to be the, the Bulls in, in, the, uh, in the 90s, right? When, I think they won six, somebody can tell me, won six out of ten championships in the 90s. I'd say that's pretty good. And I'm going to forego my usual example of dynasties because, you know, you might be tired of hearing me talk about them. <laughs> but, you know, there's always an opportunity to dream bigger, to aim bigger. And when you keep that goal, keep that outcome that you're striving for front and center, then the little losses day to day are not nearly as devastating. They, they, they can still have an impact but they don't have to be derailing and devastating. There you go. Catherine's got it nailed. When you feel like you don't have it in you, you come listen to this show. You need to, you need to, I'm going to like that. Watch, watch this. Boom. I'm even going to put it right there. So you need to share that with the rest of your network. Land of the law. I think that was land of the lost not land of the losses. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, it's Wednesday. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Be sure to be back here with me tomorrow. Hey, and remember, I, I was kind of kidding, but kind of not. If you have found value in the show today, I would appreciate likes, thumbs up, hearts, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. Uh, and then if you know someone in your network that could hear, that, that could benefit from hearing today's message, Send them, send them a link to this video in a direct message. Don't broadcast it to your whole network. Send it to that person. They need to hear it. They will thank you, and I will be eternally grateful. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful Thursday and Wednesday. Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Whew, getting ahead of myself. But I'll talk to you tomorrow, which will be Thursday, and then we'll go from there. All right, take care.